from Roll and Stitchy Steph on Instagram and this is my Floss Tube channel. I want to give a massive welcome to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers and I hope you're all well and enjoying the sun that we've had. Um, sorry I've been a bit absent on here lately, things have been really busy here. Uh, we went, I'll start from last week, uh, we went to Lake Water Valley and Monk's Farm and we absolutely loved it. Uh, but my youngest had, had been in the garden with no shoes on as they do got a massive splinter in a toe and I mean it was massive it was like the full length of a toe um, so I took her to the walk-in on the bank holiday Monday um, we went to Lightwater Valley on the Tuesday Wednesday we had to take her back because they couldn't get her out of the walking centre. Um, I don't know, you're probably all thinking like, oh, it was only splinter, but it was like well in her toe. It was like, it was literally well over an inch long, like in a big toe. Um, so every time she like was putting weight on it, it was sort of hurting her a little bit. Um, so yeah, we'd gone to Lightwater Valley on the Tuesday. My husband took her back to the walking on the Thursday and they sent her to the local hospital she for an operation on the Thursday so like to get it removed luckily they didn't put her, they were going to put her to sleep and take it out luckily they didn't they chose not to so we we've got it out now eventually but it's just been such a wake so yeah we we went we really enjoyed Lake Water Valley it was so hot that day though it was like I think 22 degrees or something with no cloud so it was really warm um that's my phone somewhere I will apologize I'm sat a bit further over this week because it is um my daughter's third birthday my youngest daughter got the splinter into her third birthday on a week tomorrow week on Monday and we've got all the presents hidden down this side so I've had to move over a little bit because I can't be bothered moving the presents so yeah so anyway that's what's happened last week then so this week we were, after half term we were just getting back to normal with school runs and everything else so i have got a bit of stitchiness to do well i've done sorry and i've caught up with some i haven't touched some as per and yeah so and one i really do apologize if you can hear them screaming downstairs I've brought them in it's 25 degrees outside and it's too hot so I, I let them go out for like 40 odd minutes and I bring them both in but my eldest like me she's quite dark skinned so I keep having to like plaster factor 50 on her because obviously I don't want to uh, get anything so I keep plastering on so in the end I was like right you're coming in for half an hour and I would just to chill out so the England match is on and I've left everyone downstairs torturing my husband while I'm up here talking to you guys child free so anyway I'll crack on with what I've done Um, I got two purchases this week just because this morning we went to a car boot sale near or in Whit Whitby um, which is like half an hour down the road from me and everybody's heard of Whitby and if you haven't it's from Bram Stoker's Dracula uh, we love it we, we don't go as much as we should and we definitely don't appreciate the fact that it is only half an hour down the road but we went to a car boot sale in, in Whitby and it was lovely it, and there weren't much about there was a lot of people but I had my Covid I also had my Covid jab and I had no side effects nothing I was a little bit tired but I'd been up since five that morning um, and I took my eldest daughter to gymnastics so I was really really tired but I think that's because I'd been up so early so hopefully my next one will not be as bad and I had the visor one and I'm absolutely fine I had a bit of a dead arm but apart from that fine anyway went to the car booty this morning and I got two books um the first one was this one I haven't actually had a good look through them this morning but they were 50p pound so I got that one it's the create your own cross stitch book by Shirley Watts but I haven't had a, a good look I quickly flicked through it 
um, just to see what was in it and if I wanted it. And I've seen some pretty patterns and tells you like, like these sort of things. And so yeah, and the, on the back was actually the one that got me. <laughs> A load of mushrooms. I like that sort of stuff. So, and my other one was the Cross Stitch Project book, and I absolutely, again, I haven't had another look through it, but I absolutely loved this one in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Um, I love this little Santa on the back, and which other one was that? I like that. Was there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So there was that one. Uh, by, and that's by Dorothea Hall. So. I am going to sit down when I finish recording and I'm going to go and have a good look at them. So I've enjoyed that. Let me just get a drink. I've actually, I've made myself an iced latte from Aldi. Add water, mixed it together and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so cool on this day. So, the first one, I will start with Sundays. Now, I cannot remember, ah, there we are, how far ahead, or oh, what I'll have shown you on this one. Um, and I feels like I've been working on this for such a long time. And I am actually going to try and complete a bit more of it tonight. But it is, because it's Santa Sunday, I've been working on my Christmas dream cell that was by the Tiny Modernist last year. So there's that one. Um, I have actually modified it a bit because I miscounted somewhere and I only realised this last night. Uh, not last night, last week. So there's the house. And if you noticed on the pattern that they did here, um, it's got like a little picket fence there. But I haven't actually done the picket fence. I've just moved the tree straight down. Which I actually, now I look back, I think, well, maybe I would have got it on. But I haven't done it, so never mind. Uh, the other one I did on there was the little bunny rabbit. <laughs> and that is actually on the pad. So tonight I'm hoping, you can see where I've had the hoop, I am hoping to get the sleigh done. And then once I've got the Santa done, that goes this side, I will feel like more or less completed and I'm going to put that in a frame because when I've overlocked the edge as you can see I've overlocked it completely uneven so and then at the top there's just like a few little snowflakes to do but they they're what I would call easy ones like I would do them if my if they're asleep during the day or if I've got five spare minutes so I'll get on with them later so, my next one was Mary Poppins one day. Now, I am loving stitching on Mary Poppins. And I'm so glad now I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I've, even though I've been cross-stitching, I felt like I've fallen out of love a little bit with it. But the last week or so, I was watching someone's floss tube, um, Evelyn Across the Pond, and I've fallen back in love with it. And... I hadn't fallen out with it as much as like, oh, I can't be bothered doing it anymore. It was more like, oh yeah, I'll do it. But I was a bit bored of what I was working on, I think. And I've watched even Across the Pond, who I will link below. And I was just like, yeah, I'm back in love now. And also I want to give another shout out to Mary Ashcroft. I think I might have said that wrong. But I will also link her Instagram, uh, YouTube below, um, who is my other shout out. Because I, I am really enjoying watching them. And, it feels like since I've been watching them as well, I have got my my book back. So my other one is Mary Poppins Monday. And actually, I absolutely love this because one of my subscribers, and she's such a lovely lady, um, Mel, has bought this pattern because of me. And I love that. And I, I cannot wait to see it finished. So, yeah, definitely. If you get this pattern, please, will you let me know? Because if I've like encouraged you to buy it or anything, because it really does make me happy. I know it probably doesn't mean much to people, but it really does. So yeah, there's my Mary Poppins. And it would help if I shown you how far I have got with it. So as you can see, I finished the houses. 
So next is the writing underneath and Mary herself. So I'm going to do the writing tomorrow. That is my tomorrow's. So I am ex I'm so excited to get that done because I feel now like it sounds like I don't know. I feel like I'm getting somewhere and I can't wait now to see it finished. And I'm like putting the kids to bed and I'm coming back down and I'm stitching and it it sort of re write a lot re kindles my love for it so my other one I will show you really no I won't because I'm using my daughter's toys to prop everything up here so the other one I'll be working on is this one take the slow road now I didn't work on any Tudors last week or the week before like I said I lost I found a bit out of love with stitching but that I started this and I've really been enjoying this. Uh, it's Tate the Slow Road, sorry, by Boothy Threads and uh, it is worked on 14 count white Ada, Zy Z I can never say it, Zygart, Ada. And I think you remember before when I'd started it, I had actually started it and stitched it upside down, whereas it should have been stitched that way. I stitched it that way. But I'm sort of hoping that I can get like, the whole car on. And if I even if I can't get, get the slow road on, I'm hoping I can get that maybe down the side. So I feel like I've come quite far with that one as well. And I tell you what, I absolutely cannot wait to do the back stitching. So that's one thing I really do enjoy the back stitching. I think that's like my favourite part of it, like all in all. Now my other piece I've worked on a little bit. I haven't worked on this one much because I felt like the other projects deserved a bit more love than this. But it is the Stitch Along by Jodie Rice and um, Satsuma Stitches on Etsy. Uh, the Wizard of Oz. Now I haven't got a picture but it's that's as far as I got of that one. Uh, the first one I think is The Wicked Witch and the, the second one was The Tin Man but I haven't got that far yet. So I'm going to wait until it's all out and print it out and stitch that all together. So I, once I have it printed out and everything else I will be able to show you what the pattern is. Not what the pattern what it will look like rather than just guessing if that makes sense so I'm hoping and so that's the other one I've been working on now I've been a bit naughty I've been chopping and changing my stitches uh, spooky Saturdays so my spooky Saturdays I have been working on that one the Boothy Threads Enchanted Pumpkin House now if you remember before I had to unpick all this part here Actually, no, it weren't. It was this part I'd want to unpick, and I will show you it now. I worked on this bit, and I've done obviously had to do some back stitching, little spider, and another little spider's web. And I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere with it now. I think next week I might try and just finish this little part here, or at least this bit to make it sort of like a square. And then I'm going to start some backstitching on it. I love backstitching. But I need to finish one of my other projects because I'm not using the um, shimmer the co uh, fabric. You've got, what's it? Oh, it's not even that. It's silver metallic thread. Um, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use uh, Etoile. Etoile. The Ecru, I think. I'm going to substitute it. To something that's easier to stitch with. Now the other one that I thought I brought up and I obviously haven't. I've been working on Happy Haunts and I will try and insert a picture about now. Um, by Good Morning Maui. I've been working on, I worked on this one actually for Stitchy Saturday last night rather than the Enchanted Pumpkin House and I started on the clock but I have actually, and obviously I finished this lady here I've started on this one and I think I've gone a bit far out but I 
think it's going to be fine. I, in fact, I know it's going to be fine. <laughs> I measured and re-measured and re-measured, so I know it's fine. Um, stitchy Saturday, no, last night was a bit of a washout. I've got a new TV show I'm addicted to, and <laughs> it's called Superstar. It's the American one, and it's with American, America, what's it? Some American Farrell, uh, somebody Farrell, I think. Um, she was in Ugly Bay, and it is so good. And I was trying to stitch, I was trying to watch that, and then I had to frog loads, which you can probably actually see that I had to frog um, at the bottom here. I don't know actually if you can see it or not, but yeah, we had to frog all that, and then I had to start again, And but I was too enthralled in watching that than stitching but that won't be uh won't be my problem next time for the next month at least because the football's on and i am really not into football so on a night i get a bit of peace quiet while he's watching the football and oh no i won't we have two new additions to the family as of tuesday we're getting two cats um bo and milo much to everyone's dismay <laughs> I've adopted them and we are getting them on Tuesday afternoon so hopefully if they settle in I will be able to show you them on my flush tube next time so yeah I am gonna go I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of this sun and hot this cold hot uh, latte that I've made and I hopefully will see you all next week or the week after See, well, we're meant to get thunderstorms next week, so I probably won't be doing much except stitching, so I will be on next week probably. But have a good week, and keep safe, and see you later. Bye!